the issues with so-called highway assist systems, which combine adaptive cruise control, lane centering and speed assist systems to support motorists in driving situations on motorways, is the potential for driver over-reliance. The first of these new assessments of a vehicle's ability to support the driver focuses on steering, and we will do that on a simulated S-Bend. This system is steering me within the lane, but going round this S-Bend, it's helping me the initial part of the corner, but it's not going to complete the manoeuvre, because it doesn't want me to over-rely on it. The issue is that these systems can't always handle tight bends or indistinct white lines and a driver over-relying on the system might expose themselves to danger. Driver assistance systems feature adaptive cruise control. That's cruise control that uses a radar to keep a safe distance between you and the car in front. But if that car's on another lane, sometimes that car will move in front of you and then that system's got to be very good to prevent a collision. Not all ACC systems are the same though. Some systems work very well when a vehicle pulls in front, whereas other systems don't. This test was a big challenge for all the vehicles assessed and demonstrates just how important it is that the driver remains alert at all times. No vehicle here really stood out, as this is a difficult test. All of these vehicles tested by Thatcham and its Euroen Cap partners have got incredible levels of technology on. Driver assistance technology. But they must be used with respect. These systems are designed to work in partnership with the driver to support the driver, but not replace him. That is automation. And we won't see that for a few years yet.